Welcome back, folks. It's Paul Maglev here, and today we are going to take a look at another game by Hero Interactive. It's Bubble Tanks 3. And you might be wondering to yourself, why aren't you looking at... Uh... Why aren't you looking at Bubble Tanks 2 and 1? And my answer to that is, why would I want to have less features and stuff when I could just go for more stuff? That, and I was actually requested by someone in particular about a few months back, and I wanted to uh, fulfill that request. I thought I'd never get the chance to get to it, but here I am. I'm doing it now, so let's get started. Oh, no, that's the start button. And I forgot to adjust the volume. Here we go. Playing as a guest. Well, I don't want to log in. There's... You can log into their site or any other sites and they'll save the metadata for you on certain things. So let's see, play more games, settings, credits, enemy tank creator. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, part packs manager. Parts pack one, two, three, four. There aren't more, but I can get some more now, but I don't want to. So let's see. Hero interactive tanks, local tanks, feature tanks, highly ranked tanks, all tanks. I'm gonna go with the hero interactive tanks because it's been a while since I've played a bubble tanks game. So our objective is pretty simple. To use the WSASD keys to move around. Use the mouse button to aim, and I remember that the sounds actually get very annoying in this game. So I think I'm gonna turn it down for me. I might actually cut it up entirely. And let's see, which direction are we gonna go first? We can go in four arbitrary directions. Let's go down to this bubble. And we should be able to just... The basic premise is that you get a bigger bubble tank. And you do that by breaking up little bits and bobs and bubbles and stuff. But eventually, you get uh, yourself into a position where uh, the bubble tanks that you're trying to harvest from try to shoot you back. Basically, your objective is to last as long as possible without losing. And because uh, the bubble things don't regenerate after you've harvested them, uh, from a certain place, say for example here, because there's nothing left here, I can't go back and harvest from the easier levels to get more bubbles, which would have been nice, but whatever. Ah, the regrettable sound of getting hit. I want you to get a good... I want you to get a good, good, uh... uh, check on that. Make sure it's permeated your inner ear, registered in your, uh, in your brain, because that sound is going to happen a lot, from my experience. So yes, I'm not technically blind to games like this. It's technically not one of my favorites, but that doesn't mean it isn't highly addicting and entertaining. I'm surprised there isn't a fourth one, to be quite honest. They've got four or five Knights of Freddy's, right? Oh, and that's the other thing. When you've killed everything, all the, bumble all the bubbles fly to you. If my experience is correct in memory and other such things. Ah, uh, gotta be careful with the heavy tanks. Luckily, they don't seem to be posing much of a threat at the moment. So once we finish a bubble region, we basically get to get all the bubbles spontaneously magnetized to us, and then we can do other stuff. I'm trying to... Oh, right, the... Missiles! Missiles, no! For some reason, I have this strange feeling that Bubble Tanks kind of harkens back to an old time back in the beginning of uh, the Earth's uh, creation or whatever. Because this, the tides and stuff would just form all these foamy bubbles and things, and some of them would eventually become living creatures, while others would just kind of wallow and become nothing. 
mind, it's almost like these things are alive. Obviously, they're not, but you get the idea. You gotta be careful, though. But they're all, all these little uh, bubble tanks remind me what I want to say in particular, nanobots for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why. I think it's because each and every single one is like a little molecular machine that's able to uh, survive on its own. And then again, that's what most cellular organisms are, but they actually have something special, usually in the form of some sort of a chemical reaction. I have been downgraded to the basic tank. I don't think I'm ready for this. How am I supposed to destroy this thing? It's too hard! And I died. I'm surprised it got so exponentially difficult so quickly. Luckily I'll have some extra bubbles I can get from over here, but I don't think I'll be upgrading anytime soon. So let's see... Our little map says we've... Oh gosh, what is that? I don't think I've seen that before. What happens if they touch me? I don't want them to touch me, that sounds scary. Don't touch me, bro! Nope, 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 nope. I don't think I'm doing enough damage. Sturdy or insidious? Primary one to parallel, secondary ability, passive ability. I can edit my tank because it's bubble tank three. Or I could search for another tank. Uh, I don't need this tutorial. Uh, you cannot select this tank, it exceeds your whatever. Uh, Do I want something that's sturdy, or do I want something that's ins What makes the insidious insidious? Maybe it moves faster or something. Anyway, we just gotta keep exploring. Ooh, this is actually a lot nicer. I can shoot two bubbles instead of one. There we go, and we should be able to head back over here and destroy whatever this is. I just, I hate this thing so much! Why won't you die? You're just a bunch of stupid bubbles! Ow. Missiles, 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 missiles. More missiles. It's a crying shame that all the bubbles that I lose actually don't fall to the ground. I mean, they don't go everywhere for me to be able to pick them back up again. And I'm gonna be circling around, all around. I'm gonna be circling around a lot, so if that makes me motion sick, I'm sorry. So progress has been made. And the further out we get from where we started, the more difficult things become. Case in point. And if we go in the upward cardinal direction, the downward cardinal direction, uh, the rightward cardinal direction, or the leftward cardinal direction, that makes us uh, exposed to... Ah, oh, dang it. It makes us exposed to certain types of uh, bubble tanks that we have to face. Some that are more nasty than others, depending on uh, what you're designing. If 
feel like I should be harvesting more. Oh. No. No, 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 no. I'm just gonna keep going in some sort of uh, arbitrary direction. I'm not sure if it's gonna be very practical in any sense. And I really don't want to be able to have to get uh, heavily uh, enlightened on how everything works. If I'm not going to be investing too much time here. Oh dear. There should be a sandbox mode where you get to uh, fool around with whatever, whichever uh, tank you want to customize on your own. Without the consequence of losing the game. See what we're up against in here. Apparently, whatever's over here is not much of a threat. Ah, no, no, no. Stupid bubble tanks. I swear these guys are like aim bots. So what can I tell you uh, while I'm uh, busy hacking away at all these tanks? I can definitely tell you that first things first, uh, it seems to be getting the hang of school again. For some reason the transition was a lot more difficult than it needed to be. I think it's all in my head though. I'm not entirely sure why, because I've been going to school for so long. I also got to see a movie today with my friends from school, it was really nice. I think it was Kung Fu Panda 3. I don't want to spoil any of it, but you will be able to get into the story even if you didn't see the first two. I'll, t I'll leave it at that. It's got the same sort of slapstick humor that's come to expect from DreamWorks, and there's nothing wrong with that. Let's see, Nimble, Super Machine Gun, Primary, and Secondary. I'm gonna go with the Class 1. This should do it. Oh, this is cool. SMG. I forget what that stands for. thought I'd be able to get this guy. There we go. I really should have been farming around here because everything's really easy. that the further out from the center I am, the more difficult it gets. And once I'm out of bubbles, there's no going back. There we go. Let's see, where are we going next? We'll just take a detour past here. Now 
it decides to fall apart. Thank you for dang mine. Evil nefarious machines of destruction and bubbles. Bath time never was so difficult. feeling there's also a boss level at some point. Or is my memory just tricking me? So, we're good. Looks like we got everything over here. Wrecked. I wish the mini map would actually tell me where all the other uh, mobs are. Because sometimes I just have to circle around to find whatever I'm looking for. things. Yay, we get to upgrade our tank. Super nimble? Or... Super... Firestorm. Going with Firestorm. You have a secondary weapon. They are used by using the space bar. Okay. Looks like I've been in this bubble, so don't mind if I... Oh jeez, I just downgraded. No! My superpowers! My superpowers of bubbliness! No, why? Why must they have better bases from which to start? I admit I am not the best at this. But then again, I never really wanted to think I ever was. things we come across. Oh, this doesn't look that scary. Is this... Okay, now that's a little scary. Mainly because there's so many of them. the rest of them. Where is he? There we go. Just gotta keep going out until we... Ah, dang, that was... That did not end well. I did not think this through! Well, that was fast. Oh 
geez, what is that? Been downgraded to nimble again. Oh, those are bombs! It's dropping mines everywhere. Where's the last of them? Still not as scary as I- Oh god, no! 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 Okay, this is scary. Scary, 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 scary! Jeepers creepers, no! And it drops landmines that look like the normal bubbles they drop off. That's ridiculous. Where is everybody? I keep getting shot at, but I don't see any. Oh, it's because they're really fast. Wait, what, what just. What? Oh, oh god! Fucking teleporting! I wish I was able to teleport or go invisible or whatever you, what that thing's doing. I can't keep up with it. Why do you gotta turn yourself invisible, Bay? He finally fell to pieces. Well, I didn't see that coming. Is there any other bad guys I'm supposed to be after? There you are. That yeah, was not worth it. I just want to take one last look at this bubble. Got some more invisible characters. Oh! Nope. I don't want to die, thank you. I'm just gonna make my way back, or whatever, and wrap up this video, or whatever. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope that wasn't... I hope that was alright. I wasn't too boring or anything like that, but I will see you all in the next video. Take care, stay awesome, stay true to yourself, and remember to never give up. Anyway, bye everyone. <laughs>